So we have to identify that we are so pained inside um, that it makes us react in nothing but painful, harmful ways towards one another, which in turn is, is how you're acting towards yourself. Um, I, we are each other's reflection, um, and I've said this many times in the show. For all of these people who are talking about this whole idea that it doesn't, I, I'm in this by myself. I'm not affected by anything. Nothing is affected by me. That is some bullshit. Okay, because you have to. Um, we we're connected. I can't. Uh, um, everything is connected in this universe, from the way the sun is set to the core of the earth, to the solar system, to the way the stars are aligned. Everything is connected to everything, and that is why it is a cycle. It is the circle of life. It is not. It is not the the straight line of life. Okay. It is the circle because it just is infinity on how much we are connected to everything that we do, everything that we eat, everything we consume, everything that we ignore all of that um and once we are able to to face that we are so pained that it makes us react um and oftentimes we react in such a negative uh, well, I, I i don't really believe in the concept of negative and positive but i do um believe that um reactions let people know where you're at and when you take things personally um beyond what what needs to be be, be taken. Um, if I say something general to you and you take it personal, you are, are, are expressing and exposing your pain. So while you think you're holding and, and you got this block up and you're not becoming vulnerable, you are becoming vulnerable. But because you got this block up, there's no room for proper healing. There's no room for you to, to really reach out and receive the love that it's going to take to properly heal. You cannot heal by yourself. You didn't get that pain by yourself yourself. Somebody pained you. Somebody did something to you in order for you to have this idea of, of, of um, being hurt and the concept of being um, um, neglected or, or felt that something was taken personally. That somebody did that to you. So why on earth do you think the process of healing doesn't require some, some type of a help, some type of extended hand? Um, that, that is ridiculous, it's absurd, and it's insanity to think, um, I'm going to go to Purity again. She had a beautiful post to, that, to, this morning that said, um, we, we can't expect anything different when we're doing the same shit. It's some bullshit. Get over yourselves, okay? The, get over yourselves. Open up to people that you trust. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, it, I'm not at all protested that you need to go out there with a, with a picket sign putting all your business out there or, or doing podcasts like I do or blogs like I do. You don't, it, there is no set way. All I'm saying is find a sisterhood that is true, that is supportive. And again, that is honest because um, that is the key to us healing ourselves and healing each other for the sake of our community. Um, this is where, this is where men cannot come in. Okay? Men have shit to do with sisterhood. What the hell can a man contribute to my sisterhood with someone else? What, what the hell can, can uh, and particularly with black women, what the hell can a white woman or, or a Latina woman or, or an Asian woman contribute to my commitment to sisterhood to black women? Now, of course, we can bridge some gaps. We can bridge um, over and say, you know, as a black, black woman, we need to extend our love to the Latinas. I'm not at all saying not to be not to be kosher and, and comparable with one another. I'm just saying nobody understands what it means to be a black woman, but a black woman. Period. Nobody. I don't understand any other concept. I don't wake up as a white woman. I don't. I don't walk. This is. This was out of the blog. I don't. I don't wake up as a white woman. I don't walk into the bank as a Latina, and I don't walk into the hip hop store as an Asian chick. I don't know what it means to be anything other than what I am. So my support um, will come from that. If somebody calls me a nigga bitch in the bank, uh, a, a white woman doesn't know, can't relate to me. She can definitely say that was wrong, that was ill treatment, let's stand for each other, let's make sure we do that. Absolutely. But she does not know internally what I am going through. Um, the only person who can is Daphne. 
Okay? Consuela don't know what I'm going through. And, and I'm not trying to explain it to her. I don't need to it because in the process of me trying to heal and process what just happened to me, I don't want to have to explain, well, this is, you know, this is coming from slavery and da, da, da. I, We know that. Okay? So my sisterhood, I'm talking to black women. That does not mean that I'm against any other type of sisterhood. This is just my call right now in this moment. Um, last thing that I want to talk, talk about uh, f uh, in pertaining to my sister's keeper is standing up for one another. If you see that someone has done ill, harm, um, intent, uh, intent to, to break down another black woman, and you don't stand for her, you are, are basically saying you don't stand for yourself. Because if, if if I don't stand, even even if it's a sister that I may not be cool with, I refuse to sit back and watch any type of ill treatment towards her. Of course, this protection comes from as as soldiers. The soldiers protect the women. We are the we are the goddesses. That is one huge responsibility on the brothers. I am not at all trying to discredit that. I am not at all trying to compete with that. I am not at all trying to x that out. But I am trying to say. The moment that we say, I stand for you, ill treatment towards you is unacceptable because you are my reflection. How powerful will we be in changing the image of the black woman? If we hear somebody talking shit about another sister and we don't stop it or we contribute to it, you're doing self-hate. You're doing self-hate. And, and, and when you take a stand and say, you know what? I'm not going to, to, to allow you to, to harm my sister. That accountability that we place on whoever it is trying to harm your sister is so crucial to changing the idea of who the black woman is and making sure that not only we're empowering ourselves, empowering the sister that we are standing for and defending, but also empowering that person to understand that we are goddesses. You do not treat a goddess less than. We're not peasants, okay? We we are the bear as much as they try with, with birth control and, and abortion and, and um, the system taking our kids, as much as they try, we are we can produce the best. We reproduce the best. So if if we are not going to um, protect our, our sacredness. Um, and our ability to continue this great black nation, um, we, we can't put that whole responsibility on the brothers. Not at all discrediting the brothers, but I am saying that there is a responsibility of defending and standing for a sister. If I know that a restaurant called my sister nigga bitch, whether I know her personally or not, I will not patronize. I will let you know. I'm writing a letter to the manager. I'm writing a letter to the GM. I will let you know that I, as a black woman, am not going to accept it. If another sister is dogging out another sister, I will hold that sister accountable to ensure that the empowerment begins to infuse and be infected. If that sister who's talking shit got a problem with me defending a sister, there's no helping her any damn way. She she likes the drama. She she likes to be in nonsense. She likes to gossip. And that shouldn't be the caliber of woman that we are uh, are striving to be. We should be trying to reach above and beyond what this idea of the black woman is. And the only way that we are going to do that is if we take accountability from honesty, from recognizing we're pain, from recognizing it, it's an imbalance for the single mothers out there. And, and a lot of black women are single mothers. 85% of us are, okay? By recognizing that my relationship has shit to do with my sisterhood with you. I don't give a damn if you don't like my man. My man might not like you either. So it, it's a very mutual, I mean, if your energy don't rub right with somebody, nine times out of ten, their energy didn't rub right with you either. That don't have shit to do with your commitment to a sister. That doesn't, um, and, and, and once we begin to get vulnerable, to admit that we're hurt, to admit that we've been pained, to admit that um, we need to heal, that is what sisterhood um, it needs right now. And the goddess awakening, we will we will accomplish that because we have some great, wonderful sisters out there who are in the same fight, who want to see us grow and want to see the image of who we are back to goddess status. 
that is all I have to say about this. This was a three-part show, the longest show that I've done thus far, um, because I'm very committed. I got this tatted on my body, my sister's keeper, because I am. I love y'all. Be good. Soldiers TV. Peace.